Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show, and welcome to FDR's private railroad car unearthed on February 27th, 2016. I will show you some pictures that I took on this date on an MTA sanctioned tour that I was lucky to be invited to. Before we get to the actual description of each picture and my narration, let me firstly tell you the backstory for those of you guys who don't know about this. Lying forgotten 200 feet below one of America's most iconic buildings lies the closely guarded secret of one of America's finest presidents, rusting away when it could be a monument to his greatness. Hidden under the Grand Central Terminal in New York lies a vast area that was unknown to the outside world until the late 80s. The story track 61 was used by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt so he could enter and leave the Waldorf Astoria Hotel without the public realizing he couldn't walk unassisted because of his polio. The armored car features bulletproof glass and special suspension to support the president's paralyzed lower body. The train was also a safety measure in case FDR needed to be spirited out of New York City in the event of a national catastrophe. FDR, who most famously used the secret entrance, did so in part to hide his disability from the public. Everything was made so large that according to MTA's spokesman, it could fit FDR's armor-plated Pierce Arrow car, which would drive off the train onto the platform and straight into the elevator. It is also said that FDR's car would exit on 49th Street and head to the hotel garage, but on other occasions it said that his limousine would be lifted up and then backed out into the grand ballroom of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. So that's the backstory, guys. Now let me narrate the scenes you are looking at. Of course, that is the railroad car in question. It has been sitting under there all these years undisturbed. You may have to forgive the picture quality on some of these scenes because I was using three different cameras. My digital camera, my iPhone, and my video camera. Later in the video, I'm going to show you exactly how we got down to this scene. Yes, that's me hamming it up for the camera, hanging on the back of FDR's railway car. I have read some accounts online that state that his car, his Pierce Arrow, is still in the railway car. That is not true. Later on, I will show you the inside of the railway car, and you'll be able to see for yourself what it looks like. I was very fortunate, along with some of my friends, to get down there and film this. We were joined by some people from SAG, which is the Screen Actors Guild, and I would say it went off very, very well. This was a rare chance to capture a piece of American history that most people will never get to see. I know there are a lot of urban explorers watching this video right now. Please, guys, do not try and get down there on your own. It's against the law, and you will be arrested. You can only go down on an MTA sanctioned tour if you can arrange it, and trust me, it's not that easy to arrange. But now let's look at a few things that I found interesting while I was down there and I can narrate this and show them to you. As you can see here, this is the inside of the President's railway car and obviously there's no automobile in there. There was a lot of wood stacked up and I'm not sure why that was. Keep in mind, this railway car has been sitting there all these years. According to a local historian who was actually running the tour, it wasn't made public until about the late 80s that this indeed was FDR's railway car. So for all that time it was unsubstantiated I would guess. But once it was let out people had to see and people wanted to know. If you Google this you will see over the years where a few TV stations have come down and done short five-minute exposés on this and they were pretty good but let me tell you something guys there is nothing better than being there yourself it was like 
turning back the clock 60 years. It was just phenomenal. It was great. And I'm so thankful to have been part of this. Now, a lot of you guys want to know how exactly you get down there. I will show you as much as I can as time allows. You start off by going down some steep stairs from a nondescript door off West 48th Street. You continue down the stairs, carefully of course, and you get down and you can see what it looks like down there. The station itself, if I may use the word station, is largely untouched. That is not the railway car you're looking at. That is just a storage container that they had down there. I just want you guys to get the full picture of what it looks like. And there's another shot of the stairs going down. I should tell you guys that we had a rather large group with us and my particular job was to be what they call a sweeper. I was the last person in line to make sure nobody wandered off the beaten path because you know it's no place to play down there. Now here we are we're actually walking. This is the group walking down as you can see. I'm staying in the back to make sure everybody safely gets to where they need to be. Now forgive the shaking camera here. I wanted to wait till everybody got down and I wanted to walk you down to see how we would get to access the President's railway car. We walk down this unused track right here and I am told that these tracks are reserved only for the President and his cabinet and for no other reason whatsoever. We will continue down a little bit and at the end we will make a left and we will have access to the railway car. Keep in mind this is a security area. You are not allowed down there unless you're with an authorized representative or unless you are an authorized representative. It was a very cool way to spend a weekend in February and guys I hope you really really like these scenes and these shots. Now I know there's going to be a lot of questions so feel free to post your questions below and I will answer as many as I can. I'm sure that a lot of you are going to ask questions about the car itself or maybe Grand Central and yes I also took a lot of photographs of Grand Central Terminal and I will be posting them in a different video in the near future. So guys, I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Thanks for watching this exploration video of FDR's private railway car. I hope you found it enjoyable. It's the next best thing to being there, but trust me guys, there is nothing better than being there. And coming up, as you can see here, we're going to make a left and you're going to see the crowd and that would be the entrance to the railway car. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do stop back again. If you have any other New York City locations you would like me to explore, just tell me and I will do my best to get to it. Have a good day, rock on, and thank you all for watching.